Hi everyone, my name is Qin Xiaojie and I'm a psychotherapist. I'm going to make a few videos to answer the question, how do I find a good therapist that's a good fit for me? In today's world with the internet, very easily you can see a list of counselors and psychotherapists that you can choose from, but oftentimes it's very stressful and confusing in the process. There are many things to consider but hopefully to make the process easier, I'm going to talk about what I call the essential factors for you to consider. And today I'm going to talk about number one, your therapist credentials. It's important for you to find a counselor that's well-trained. Well, unlike in the Western world here in China, it's less straightforward. You will find counselors while well, those who claim to be counselors have only gone through a few months of training. It will be very confusing and time consuming for you to understand different programs and whether they were well designed or not. Let's be honest, I work in this field. Even when I look at those titles, it, unless I look into the design of the training program, it's almost impossible for me to know whether it, they are well trained or not just by looking at the title. But one thing is for sure, if they're graduated from a pretty good university with a bachelor degree or a master degree, or of course with a PhD degree, then their qualification is gold. And it's easier to distinguish these from those who did not have a diploma in the first place. This is by no means to say counselors who don't have a diploma in counseling as a master degree or a bachelor degree are not good counselors. It's just for people who are looking at thousands and thousands of counselors um, online on a website. It's a lot easier for you to narrow them down to a list that you can handle. And many counselors profile will have this line that call, that's called training or personal development which are training programs they've, uh, they've attended. Say for example, um, one counselor might start with one modality that they first learned and applied, say for example, CBT, Cognitive Behavior Therapy, and then later they learn about more about human, humanistic uh, therapy, they learn more about, let's say, EMDR, for example. And other therapists might get more interested in uh, couple counseling, so that might be an area that, that they receive more training on. So by looking at a therapist a training profile, which is usually after their higher education, gives you an idea of what they're good at, or supposed, or likely to be good at, um, and where their interests are. When you are rating a psychotherapist profile, it's important to see if it indicates that they are receiving ongoing supervision. For counselors, like in any other professions, you will encounter uh, difficulties and challenges in this process. And having a supervisor who is a lot more experienced and has been working in this field for many years will support the therapist to provide the best service to you. checks of all three criteria then that indicates that they are properly trained and is likely to be able to provide you with good services. I also want to talk about a bonus point. You will see on some profiles some counselors say that they are a registered member of a certain association. Say for example I am a member of ACA, Australian Counseling Association, and I put that on my profile. What does it mean? Um, there are so many training programs available. Uh, some therapists might do their continuing education, some might not, some might have their supervision, some might not. So as a client, someone who's looking for a counselor, how would you even know who to look for, right? Because it's hard for you to know whether their training program is good enough. Um, so these associations were established uh, as a endorsement for a counselor, basically indicating that their 
uh, diploma is valid. A lot of those um, associations do require their counselors to have a certain amount of continuing education hours per year and receive ongoing supervision. So if a, if a counselor say, I am a registered with an association body, then it's very likely that they meet the three criteria. In my next video, we're going to talk about the therapy fee and how that's really related to finding a good therapist.